In this video, we're gonna take a look at adding repeating bills to zero. So you'll wanna to navigate to the business tab. And just FYI, if you are using the quick add menu or the create new menu here, you can create bills, but they won't be repeating. So you do need to go over to the business tab into bills to pay. And then on the top right hand corner next to a new bill, you underneath the uh, drop down menu, you can select new repeating bill. And here you have the option to customize some of these parameters. So how often would you like this bill to repeat? The default is one month. However, you can also customize this um, on a weekly basis. Maybe this only happens every quarter. So you could do every three months, um, bill due date or bill date. Maybe let's select this, select this first of the month and we'll have it due 14 days after the bill date. Now end date is optional. It is however necessary if you want these bills to stop repeating on a certain date. So let's say we want this to stop repeating at the end of the year. We would then select, let's go over December 31st. And what this is going to do in this scenario is that this in this bill is not going to create come January 1st of 2025. So this is where the end date is crucial, but if it's something that's ongoing and you want it to, to continue to repeat every three months indefinitely, you will leave the end date alone. Here's where you would choose what happens to this bill. So if you're pretty confident that there, this is a pretty regular bill, nothing really ever changes about it, you can go ahead and approve that bill automatically. However, there are definitely cases where there, there are tweaks that need to be made to the bill itself. So you can save it as a draft, come in every month, make the customizations, and then approve it. Really up to you, it's, it's your call there. So let's say again that we're getting this bill from Truxton Property Management. This is our rent and we're paying this on a quarterly basis. So quarterly rent and let's say that that is uh, $10,000 and we are going to post that to prepayments because we're pay paying in advance in this situation. And then we're just going to click save. So now that we have created this bill, we did backdate that first date. So what's going to happen is we now have a bill that's sitting in draft stage that needs to be approved, which is great. Underneath the repeating tab, we're going to have all of the bills that we have repeating in zero for this client. So here's that Truxton property management uh, bill that we have just created that repeats every three months and it's going to end on the 31st. So the next bill date is going to be October 1st, 2024. You also see like the status that it's going to be created as. So this is going to be saved as a draft. Some of these are auto approved. Let's take a look at that draft bill that was created for us. And you'll see all the details of the bill that we just created. Um, you can visit the repeating transaction template if anything needs to be customized. You found that there was an error in it. Um, Trucks and property management is a vendor. Dates are, are accurate. And then we have the details of the transaction itself. So if everything looks good here, all you need to do is click approve and then it is ready to pay. 